Let's graph the linear equation y equals two-third x. And we're going to do it two ways. First, we'll use a table of values and plot those on our graph here. Then we'll use slope-intercept formula to check our work. So let's use a table of values. Let's put in 0, because 0 times x is just 0. And we can choose any values, but we'd like them to show up on our graph. And it would be nice if they were whole numbers. So why don't we say 3? Because 2 thirds times 3, that would just give us 2. And we could say negative 3. 2 thirds times negative 3, that's just negative 2. So these are the points that we'll graph for the linear equation y equals 2 thirds x. So we'll start out 0, 0. That's right here. Then we go to x is 3, y is 2. And we could stop there, but it's nice to have a third point just to make sure we did these first two right. So we'll go x is negative 3 and y is negative 2. And there's our line. Let's put a line through that. And then we could put arrows to show that it goes to infinity. So this is the graph for the line of y equals 2 thirds x. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. b is the y-intercept. There isn't anything here. We could think of this as 2 thirds x plus 0, and then our y-intercept would be 0. So we'd cross the y-axis at 0, so that makes sense. Then for the slope, we have 2 thirds, but we could call this rise over run. So we go to our y-intercept, we rise 1, 2, and we run 1, 2, 3. From there, we can just do it again. Rise 1, 2, and run 1, 2, 3. Likewise, we could go in the opposite direction. We could go down 1, 2, and go over 1, 2, 3 in the opposite direction. And these points are all on our line. So we graph the first part with our table of values correctly. This is Dr. B with the graph for the linear equation y equals 2 thirds x. Thanks for watching.